we're back here now in this one where the Dolphins lead by 10. Let's quickly go to Danielle Bellini. She has an update. I spoke with Coach Philbin during halftime. His team has the lead, and he told me he's proud of the way his guys have battled it out there. He said it hasn't been pretty the whole time, but his players have been resilient, and that's a major factor in the score. Hopefully his players will keep it up here in the second half, guys. Back to you. Danielle, thank you very much. Now we'll go to the field. Give his team great starting field position on that return. Someone's been injured out there. Hold on a minute. Well, Jim, I know his family's watching, so we'll give all the information we can as soon as we get it. But it looks like it could be a major injury, and I just, well, I hope the best. Ryan Tannehill will be under center. Thomas taking the handoff. He's brought down at the 46. The ball carrier on the play. Game of three. I will say this for the offensive coordinator. He is persistent. They're not running the football very well today, and that time he tries to run game again, gets a couple yards, but not much. Second down coming up. Oh, that could have been intercepted, but he couldn't hold on. Nice job that time by the wide receiver on the post route. He's open, but the quarterback throws it too far and misses it. Keller's a tight end, but lined up in the backfield for this play. Third and eight. Screen play is on. Nowhere else to go, and he's out of bounds. It's third down, Jim. You expect the team to throw the football down the field past the chains to get the first down? No, they catch them off guard. They throw a screen pass. Nice execution, and they get the first down. They're back at the line after that catch for a first down. Now first to ten. The handoff running behind the tackle. Number 33. On the play. Gain of two on the play. Well, I know it's not going to make a highlight film, but still a good solid run up in there for a couple yards. Thomas is lined up as the single back. Second down and seven. They feed it to him again. Number 33 on the carry. Game of six. Well, but it's an obvious passing situation. When I was a quarterback, I loved it when they called the draw play because I know that defensive line, they're all trying to go after the quarterback, and nobody's prepared for the run. Third and two here after the run. Right back to him one more time. Nice job that time. The run play gets the first down. You move those chains. Hey, it's kind of fun to watch a team tough enough and patient enough to run the football to get these first downs instead of throwing it all the time. Thomas lined up in a single back formation. Miller's called on once again. Makes a move and he's free. He's going to be tackled right around the 21 yard line. Well, when you're in a situation like this, it's always good to run a draw play because you want to get it to a makeable third down situation where it's not too hard on the offensive line or the quarterback. Hey, man, 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 man. 
The offense heads to the line for the seventh play of the drive. Second down, four to go. Getting away from the pressure. He's brought down at the 20-yard line. 17 on the run. Nice situation here for the offense. They're winning the football game. Now they're in the red zone. Let's see if they can come up with a play that fools the defense. Falcons lined up in the nickel. Daniel Thomas carries the football. Good job by the offense. Another first down. The defense absolutely is getting tired. And when you get tired, you make mistakes. They're able to move the chains after that last run. Trying to get it outside before the defense is set. Breaks the long one for the touchdown. It's like money. How much do you need? The answer's more. And that's what you do when you're trying to get points in the NFL. Just get more. Good job by the offense. They had the lead with that touchdown. Dolphins for the extra point. He made it. The Falcons now have even more work to do to get back into this one. Scores 17 to 0. And the tackles made right around the 25 yard line. Steven Jackson lined up in the backfield. First down and 10. Gives it to Steven Jackson. Good coaching on the defensive side. Everybody stays at home. They stay in their gap, and they hold that run to a short game. Split backfield here. Second down and seven. Looking at every option, challenging the defenders to the right side. Number two, close complete. Number two. Anytime you give a quarterback that kind of time, he's going to get comfortable, get his feet under him, be relaxed, and he is going to make the perfect throw down the field. Easy completion that time for the quarterback. That long gain sets them up here on this play. First and ten. The quarterback throws to the right. Just couldn't get his feet down on that catch. I don't know what was more terrible. That was a terrible route. Terrible throw by the quarterback. Oh, and what a shot. It's incomplete. Nickel formation here for the defense. Second and ten. Jackson's going to take the handoff now. That's a terrible read by the running back. It's a short game, but it's all his fault. He picked the wrong hole. He should have cut it back. He didn't, and that's why he was tackled. Jackson's lined up directly behind the quarterback here. Third down and eight. And it's Wake who's in the face of the quarterback. That's a four. 
You're near midfield. It's fourth down. What do you do? I got the answer right here. You punt it. Play field position. Make the other offense drive the length of the field to score. A huge play on third down by that defense. That sack of the quarterback forces the punt. Muscles through the defender. Tries to ward off a defender with a stiff arm. They've got him down there. Fifteen minutes to go. Back after this word from your local station. Welcome back to this one side of the fair. What's the man? See the man? Why First Andy? down here. Why Why down? Down? The Final quarter underway now with this snap. Number 33 with the carry on the play. Gain of two. Nice job that time by the defense. They were ready for the run. Nowhere for the running back to go. And they stop him for a short game. Running formation here. Offense in the full house set. Second down and eight. And the give now to Daniel Thomas. Number 33 on the carry. Game of one. The Dolphins get set at the line, needing to get to the 30 for a first. Right On the way, right third right down. Running away from the pressure. No one in sight has the grab. When you can't hit the quarterback or put pressure on him, there's not much you're going to get done then. That time, quarterback had time and throws it down the field for another completion. Hey, he's men. I got him all day, all day. Keller's a tight end, but now shifted into the backfield. First and ten. Thomas is handed the football. He's going to be tackled right around the 46-yard line. Daniel Thomas is in the backfield. Second down and five. Gets it again here. Here comes the training staff as we've got a player down on the field. That's a good job. He's able to get up and get off the field, and my guess is he's going to be okay. A little bit of a scare there, no doubt about it. That makes everybody nervous. Third and two here after the run. Play action fake, looking to throw. Sticks to his hands. The tackle was made, but the first down is picked up. Well, Jim, I always say it's about deception when you're playing offense. That time, the play action fake by the quarterback was so good that defense didn't even see that he still had the football and he throws it down there for a nice completion. First down here after the completion. It's Miller. Hey, up the middle. Number 26. Gets the point of the Gain of three. Hey, hey, watch the point. Alert, alert. 
The offense heads to the line for the seventh play of the drive. They feed the running back. On the run, no game. The defensive end has the outside runs. That's his assignment, and he did it well. Takes on the tackle, beats his rear end up pretty good, and makes a tackle on the running back. Kellers playing out of position in the backfield here. Third and seven. It was right there, but he didn't bring it in. This defense you're playing against, they're pretty good. So it's fourth down near midfield, punt the football. This is a long field goal about to be attempted. Comes up short. Well, moments like this, you're on the sideline, the field goal kicker comes off the field. Well, you just turn your back and walk away because you don't want to yell at him. You've driven the football down the field. He goes out there and kicks it and doesn't hit it well enough to even get it over the crossbar. Steven Jackson lined up in the backfield. Ryan from the gun makes the catch. Good job by the quarterback that time. He doesn't panic. He reads that it's a zone, and you have to wait for the receivers to get in between the defenders. Nice throw and catch. This will be second down. Ryan standing back in the shotgun, ready for the snap. Had it, but dropped it. Look the football in. With the gloves these receivers wear, the rules that you can't touch them, there's no excuse for dropping the football. The offense needs two yards here on third down following the incompletion. And they bring down the quarterback, and it's a three and out for the offense. The name of the game is hit the guy with the football, isn't it? That's what it is. The quarterback has it. The defensive end, what a nice play. Gets to him that time and gets the big hit. Fourth and nine to go, and they're going to go for it. Two minutes to go in the second half. The offense is still on the field here on fourth down, needing nine for the first. The offensive line gets in position. Can they protect their quarterback? Matt Ryan from the shotgun. They'll turn it over on downs. Let's go now to Danielle Bellini, who has an injury update. Guys, I just spoke with a Dolphins official. Daniel Thomas's injury doesn't appear to be anything too serious. So if the team absolutely needed him back, he would play, guys. But as things stand right now, they're going to hold him out as a precaution. They'll go with the extra tonnage here with the jumbo set. Now first and ten. Thomas got it on the handoff. Always good to have these types of runs. Yeah, it's not a first down, but it sends a message. It shows everybody that you can run it when you want to, and also it opens up so many other things for your offense. Second and six. Daniel Thomas carries the football. Number 33 with the carry. No gain on the play. Keller's usually a tight end, but he's in the backfield this time. Third at six. Looking to scramble. There's the tackle, but still, it's enough for the first down. Watch 
Thomas is in the backfield. Single back set. First down and 10. And the give now to Daniel Thomas. Dragged to the ground. Looks like he's still about a yard short of the first. Power running. A lot of teams in this league don't even do it anymore. This team, they can power it up in there and pick up those tough yards. His next play comes from the 30. Second down and one. And he'll try it left. And that's a touchdown late in this one. Well, that touchdown just put the icing on the cake, Jim. Whatever you want to say, because now the lead's too big. Not enough time for the other team to come back. Great job by the offense. The Dolphins lined up now for the point after. Inside of the uprights. That's going to do it here in this one. Okay, partner, it's still early in the season, but this team continues to stay unbeaten. Yeah, when you're hot, Jim, take advantage of it. Keep it going because the NFL season, it's like four seasons built into one. You go up and down. So when you're hot, trust it, believe in it, and try to keep it going. ending to this one and let's watch it one more time our GMC never say never moment of the game it's been a game we'll always remember Jim Nance Phil Sims so glad to bring it to you